Welcome back to How To Craft Fair. Today I'm starting a new video series called Booth Reviews, where I take a look at a real craft booth submitted by one of my YouTube subscribers, and I'll show you the areas of strength that they have in their booth, and also some areas where there's a little bit of room for improvement. So I'm excited to kick this new series off. Be sure to watch all the way until the end to learn how you can participate and have your booth featured and reviewed in a future video. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so first up is Vicky. So Vicky, first of all, thank you so much for being brave enough to go ahead and put yourself out there and your booth out there for the whole world to see. So I uh, really appreciate it and thank you for subscribing. Um, so Vicky has a business named Imperfect to Crafting. All right, let's take a look at her booth here. So this is an outdoor booth setup. Um, the first element that we are going to look at is displays. Okay, so um, displays, again, is just, you know, any way that you're uh, utilizing shelving or racks or whatever to display your products. Um, so as we start to dive in here, uh, let's take a closer look. Um, so she has a lot of tumblers at her booth. You can see a whole bunch of tumblers over here, here as well, and then over on this end here. Um, very good tiered setup um, to, you know, utilize the vertical space in a way that's, you know, making each tumbler shown. Um, so you can see there's like some overlap over here where you can see each one over on this side. Um, I feel like it's a little bit better. I feel like you can actually see a little bit more of the tumbler over on this side. So um, as far as the tumblers goes, I, I would say that these are being displayed um, pretty well. Um, I don't really have a whole lot to offer as far as improvements on the way the tumblers are being displayed. I think it's pretty good. Um, the flags, of course, are a very, very large item, um, you know, kind of taking up a lot of real estate in the booth, which, which is good because, you know, they're eye catching and stuff like that. Um, but maybe I would, you know, have something down below on the bottom because, um, right now, you know, it's pretty much just the tabletops being used, you know? Um, so I think I would like to see you know, a few of these, especially since they're kind of laid out. I don't know if, I don't know if the designs are different behind this love design, right? So, um, you know, that's maybe something I'd be thinking about as a shop or is, you know, is it just the stars, this one second and then love, um, or are there others that I can't see or is it just that? So, um, like I said, I would maybe just consider using this down here, but I could also understand why you wouldn't want to, because, you know, judging by the looks of these, they're probably a fairly expensive item. Um, you know, and you don't want somebody going by and kicking them and knocking them over and things like that. So again, just a thing to kind of consider, but, um, you know, one more element of the displays here that I'd like to kind of touch on is the license plates. So let's get a little bit, little bit closer and check out the license plates here. Okay. So we see the license plates and we can see that there's a whole bunch of different designs, uh, going back there, but they're all one level, right? And I know that you can probably easily kind of flip through these and flip them forward to check them out and see what the designs are. But I think I would like to see something that is tiered, you know, in a way that the tumblers are where, you know, just even at a glance, you're actually seeing quite a few of the designs without having to kind of, you know, fumble through them and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I would say that's that's really about it for the displays. I think you do a pretty good job of displaying, you know, your items overall. We can take a look at some of the other images that you provided and get a closer look here. So here's a good example of what I'm talking about with the tumblers. So it's like you could be standing right in front of them and you're pretty much catching all these designs, right? Like you don't have to pull one forward to look at one and things like that. Um, nice job here with a couple of standalone ones, you know, just to kind of break up um, just to break up a little bit of the, uh, pattern, I guess you'd say with, uh, how they're being displayed. So let's take a look at some more. Okay. Here's a look, here's a front view look of the tumblers with, I think they have a little bit of a higher, um, like a higher profile because I feel like you're seeing a lot more of these tumblers as opposed to the tumblers that were on the side by the flags. 
But um, again, really, really good job here of, you know, using these displays to show off the whole tumbler at one time. One more picture here. Okay, this was just a clo close up of the flags. So yeah, again, I'd say uh, as far as your displays goes, I think you're doing a pretty solid job here of, um, you know, making making everything as, as viewable as possible, um, pretty much just from walking by, right? And that's 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 what you want to be doing. You want to be able to catch the eyes as they're walking by to to at least pull them in. Okay, so the second element I'd like to talk about is vertical space. So your use of vertical space at this booth, I would say, is pretty solid. Um, yeah, at the top here, you know, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but at the top here, she has you know hats hanging here. So um, it's pretty cool because you know really. Except for except for down here, right? We kind of talked about that with maybe the flags. She's covering a lot of different heights at the booth, you know. So there's more than just one eye level to look at. One of the one of the biggest mistakes that vendors can make at a craft fair is um, just using the table height alone, you know. So if like her entire booth was just these license plates, you know, and just things that were you know kind of laid down on the table you're really kind of shooting yourself in the foot because you're not utilizing that square footage as far as vertically up and down goes. You know, so Vicky's doing a really good job here of um, stacking the tumblers, you know, creating some height, creating some different things to look at up top here, you know, from the top all the way down. So um, again, not a whole lot to touch on as far as ver um, you know, vertical improvements. I would just say... Uh, a little something with the license plates, you know, just get them staggered a little bit, um, not only to offer height in the booth, but just to kind of show off some of those designs. Okay, so now let's talk about signage. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so we can take a look at the signs. And let's check out, we got a, we got a couple of them here. So 20 ounce tumblers, $20 each, or it looks like it's two for... 38, I believe. Yeah, two for 38. So it looks like you get a couple bucks off, you know, if you buy two tumblers. Uh, man cave, woman cave, signs and license plates, $8 each. Wooden American crosses. So these are the ones that are laying down on the table right here, $15 each. Wooden American flags. So we got small for 25 and the large are 50. And um, okay, here we go. Here's some payment options. Take credit cards. Cash app, that's great. Also using the QR code, very good. And then here is Vicky's big sign, okay? So this is her price list. So not only does she have signs by the individual items, she also has it covered up here where the items are broken down all on this big pricing sheet. And, you know, on one hand, you could say, okay, it would be nice to see like a little bit of a, a little bit of a more established like pricing sheet instead of it just kind of being like typed up and printed, you know, maybe like a poster or something, um, you know, printed out. But on the other hand, Vicky has a lot of items and she's doing bundle pricing. So bundle pricing is when you're offering more than one item for a discount. Okay. So her pricing might change depending on the show, depending on the attendance, like, you know, how much how many how many people are supposed to come through the door things like that there's a whole bunch of different reasons why her prices could fluctuate so definitely understandable that you know the prices are kind of typed up onto a sheet um you know for each show and whatnot but um but no really good job here of breaking everything down making it very obvious to the shopper what they can expect to pay for something and if she has any deals you know so um, you know, like we talked about the bundle pricing, you know, so she's not only advertising the prices, but the deals that she has all on one sheet. So that's fantastic. Um, let's back out, see if we have any other views of the booth that offer signage. Okay, we got one down here. Let's zoom in just a little bit. Okay. All right, 16 ounce and four in one can cooler $25 each or two for 48 okay and she's got a couple of pictures of it here all right cool um but yeah you know again 
not only does she have the individual items marked here, but then she also has these listed on the price sheet as well. So this is pretty good. You know, I mean, it's, it's making it very clear to the shoppers, you know, what, what they can expect. And honestly, that right there is just the point of signage. You're just trying to make it, you're trying to make it so that the shoppers don't even have to ask you how much something costs or if you have any deals or anything like that. You want them to know that straight up without even having to, without even having to say a word to you. So that's, a good job with the signage. Uh, let's check the other pictures. Okay, so again, more individual signs on the individual items. And then, um, you know, she's got it covered up top. So real good again. Same thing here. And finally, back to the flags. Okay, cool. So yeah, um, I would say that the signage is pretty good. You know, again, like I said, you know, some people might want to see like a more established sign, things like that, you know, but honestly, um, you know, I'm, I'm not too concerned about that as far as the, uh, you know, how fancy it looks and things like that. I mean, objective number one is just to make it clear for the shoppers and you've done that. So very, very good. Okay, so let's back out here and all right. Now, the next thing that we should talk about here is marketing. Okay, so marketing the business. And I think that might be an area of improvement here. So when we think about marketing the business, basically, you know, you're going to a show and Ideally, you're trying to make some sales and meet some people that are interested in your business, things like that, trying to make some connections, you know, of people that appreciate your work. So ideally, you'd like them to not only purchase from you at the show, but the best case scenario is that they become, you know, some kind of a repeat shopper or, you know, like a long term fan of your business. So with that being said, a lot of the easier ways to do that is to um, you know, put out some business cards at your booth, things like that. Uh, you know, put like a banner out, you know, so what is the business name? You know, so if somebody asks like, Hey, you know, where'd you get that cool tumbler from or that flag from, um, you know, you want to be able to, you know, quickly recall, okay, that's Vicky, you know, that's, um, that, that's her booth and everything. So, you know, you're just trying to, Again, make it easy for the people to remember you or, you know, best case scenario, connect with you down the road. Now, I have heard a lot of vendors say that even though they put business cards out at the booth, that they don't really get a lot of action from it. Um, you know, it's not like they're getting like a whole bunch of repeat buyers and things like that, but you never know. You know, I mean, if say like you went to your Facebook page, right? Could you... Could you tell somebody the percentage of followers that came to your Facebook page, like strictly from Facebook or which came, you know, based on where they saw you at a show or something like that? You can't, you really don't know exactly where your followers are coming from, you know? So a lot of times when people kind of shoot down the business card at the booth thing, that's something that you have to think about is like, you really don't know, um, you know, how much of an effect that that's uh, helping your booth. But anyways, I digress. Um, you know, the booth here, I can't see any business cards. I haven't found any business cards. Um, I don't see a banner, you know, like with like a business name on it. Um, yeah, you know what I mean? So as far as like, as far as branding and marketing, this might be a big opportunity to kind of take that next step with the booth and start to kind of an establish like a brand, you know, at the booth and uh, give people a way to reach out to you at some point. So um, yeah, I would suggest a banner, especially if you're doing out outdoor shows, because a lot of times it's pretty easy to hang a banner from like, you know, the top of your tent canopy or something like that. There's like some, there's definitely some opportunities to make that happen. Business cards, super cheap these days, you know, you can get like a thousand business cards for, you know, less than 50 bucks. So um yeah, just things things to kind of consider as far as that goes. All right, so the next thing we should touch on is pricing. So 
Um, obviously, like I said before, you want to make pricing as obvious as possible to shoppers. And I think we've covered that pretty well already. Um, really, you know, really good sign breaking pretty much everything at the booth down in great detail, not only the single prices, if they were to buy just one item, but you're also covering those bundle price, um, deals where if they, um, make those multiple purchases from you. So that's a great job there. You're covering the singles and the bundles. Um, and you've got the individual pricing here near each item. So again, pricing at this booth is exceptional. It's very, very clear what everything costs. Um, you know, there's really no need to put individual tags on items when you're going with this method where you have certain items grouped together at the booth. So, you know, you have tumblers here, you have tumblers here, you have flags here, but there's a sign near each item. So it's very, very obvious what all these things cost and uh, definitely no need to put an individual tag on each of these items so you don't have to worry about the manpower and the hours invested in putting tags on everything and also the um you know office supplies and stationaries to get the tags themselves to put them onto the items so really good job here okay so this is one of the fun aspects that i like to look at booths for and that is colors contrast and texture so when we look at the booth, obviously, um, you know, there's like a patriotic theme going on. Um, you can see up here, the tent canopy is, uh, you know, stars and stripes, red, white, and blue. And uh, you have a lot of uh, items that are, you know, kind of in that spectrum. So I would consider, I would consider really, really, um, you know, like if this is the vibe of the booth, you know, kind of like, um, you know, the patriotic vibe and whatnot. Um, I would consider like really going all in on it, you know, because it's like, I feel like with the items themselves, you know, um, you're pretty much there with the items, you know, but I think to take that next step, you know, I, I love the tent, you know, that's great. Um, but then it's like, you know, go ahead and just get like either red, solid red or solid blue, um, tablecloths. Um, that might, you know, kind of take it to the next level, things like that. We talked about a banner before, you know, having, a, um, like a business banner. And I think it'd be pretty sweet if, you know, back here there was a, you know, big old eight foot banner with, you know, some kind of red or white or blue theme, not too crazy, you know, because you want it to be readable and legible and things like that, you know, but, um, I feel like you're getting there, you know, like, I feel like the booth identity is like really getting there. Um, but it's like, you know just put the pedal to the metal and just go for it and sell out for that theme, you know, and just embrace the theme is what I would say. Um, one other point though, with the texture is I am glad that you have solid color tablecloths because again, one of the big mistakes that vendors will make on their tablecloths is having some kind of pattern on the tablecloths. And this is a huge no, no, big, big no, no, because it can severely pull your eyes away from the items and they'll get lost. They'll get, they'll get completely lost against a, a patterned tablecloth. So, um, even though I think, you know, you might be better off with like a red or, or a blue tablecloth. I do like that. It is at least solid black because your items clearly stand out. I mean, your items like pop against that black tablecloth. So that is, that is very good. Okay. And the seventh category I'd like to talk about is the strength of the theme. So kind of touched on it already, you know, but, um, I feel like you're most of the way there. Um, would like to see it pushed a little bit harder, maybe, um, not necessarily like in the items. I feel like, you know, your items are very well established and things like that, but, um, you know, go ahead and work, uh, you know, some coloring into the tablecloth, you know, go with red, go with white, get that banner going, you know, maybe some business cards, things like that. Um, but again, I feel like you're most the way there though. The 10 canopy, you know, even though we don't have a shot or a picture that's like pulled back, if you're in an outdoor show and it's like, you know, here's a red one. I think this is a white canopy down here. Yours is going to pop. Yours is already popping compared to that, you know, so that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Okay. The next segment we should touch on is accessibility. So when I mean accessibility, um, I'm kind of talking about a few different things. I'm talking about, you know, physically 
getting close to the booth, uh, you know, physically checking out the items, but then also um, making sure it's safe to do so, you know, that you don't have things laying around, um, tripping hazards, falling hazards, things like that. Um, right off the bat, you know, the, the front of your booth looks super, super clean. You know, everything uh, kind of tidied up in front of it. People can get right up on that booth if they want and, you know, check things out in great detail. Like we talked about, talked about flipping through those license plates and things like that. They'd 100% be able to do so without a problem, you know. So as far as accessibility goes, uh, I think we're looking pretty good here. Um, here's another shot. Again, you know, nothing out in front of the booth. Things look clean. Things look good. Um yeah, I'd say you are doing a great job with this. Um, nothing really, nothing really to comment on this. I think you're just uh, doing a good job of uh, making sure that people can get close to those items. Okay, and the next thing to talk about is general use of space. So we we touched on this earlier. Fantastic job with utilizing, you know, the top of the canopy. I, you know, it looks like you probably just have these. Um, you might have a hats uh, clipped around like the, the bracing of the canopy, you know? Um, so that's really, really creative and uh, great use of great use of space because uh, that's, that's real estate that I think a lot of people kind of forget about, you know, they forget about using that and why not, you know, um, you know, use every inch that you've got basically. So on the tables, again, really maximizing the space. You have a ton of tumblers out, ton of different designs and uh, people, you know, like we took a look at this earlier shot where you're facing it head on, boom. I mean, you're able to see those like crystal clear. So that looks absolutely fantastic. And again, you can see the hats here and the hats going all the way down. Really good um, use of space. The only thing I would say, again, like we touched on earlier, is maybe just a consideration for, um, you know, something out front, maybe, um, you know, we kind of touched on the banner, you know, and even that maybe like a banner or a table runner with the business name. I feel like, I feel like we just need a, a little something kind of here or out here, you know, facing out. Um, that's the only thing I would say that, you know, maybe, maybe there's like a little something there, maybe a table runner kind of hanging off with the business logo. That'd be pretty sweet. But um, yeah, that's about it. Again, doing a great job on the top, doing a great job in the center section, maybe just a little something down here. Okay, and the last element that we're gonna cover, I'm calling it the eye test. So this is basically just an overall look at the entire booth. And I'm trying to keep it in mind as a shopper, as a visitor of a craft fair, you know, walking by, and they basically say that you have, you know, two to three seconds to pull a shopper in, you know, because they're walking by, you know, they glance at your booth and that's it. Like they're either gonna pull in or they're gonna just keep on walking. So when I look at the booth, um, I think it does a good job with the mixture of crafts that you have. It is heavy tumbler, you know, so I would say, I would say a good three quarters of the booth is tumbler, you know, um, doing a good job with the hats, you know, so that is, that's pretty unique. That's pretty cool. Um, you know, again, the stars and stripes tent from a distance is probably pretty cool. And we can't quite see that because, you know, we don't have the pullback shot and everything. But again, like I said, compared to the orange tent and compared to the white tent, it's something different. You know, it's something unique. So again, like I said, you might only have two or three seconds to pull somebody in and something different and something unique might be just what you need, you know. So uh, yeah, overall, I think it's a pretty solid setup booth. I think there are some opportunities here. I think the biggest opportunity that I've seen on this booth is probably where we talked about the business marketing, right? So we don't have like a, we don't have a banner. We don't have a business name. We don't have a logo. Um, none of that stuff is out here, you know? So even if I were to buy from you and I like it, I don't really know like who you are, you know what I mean? So, um, maybe there are some chances at like, you know, secondary sales or catching those long-term fans. And, um, you know, maybe you're missing out on that by not having the business cards, the banner and stuff like that out. The other thing like we touched on again is the, um, the colors of the tablecloths. I think, you know, if you're going to go like with the, uh, you know, American patriotic type of theme, it's like, just, just go for it. Really, really hammer it. You know, um, the people, you know, the, 
the people who are patriotic and things like that, they're extremely, extremely passionate, you know? So it's like, why not like just go for it? You know, um, that's, that's, that's my only thought, but, um, again, Vicky, thank you so much for sending your booth in and it was a pleasure to go ahead and review it point out a couple of things that uh, you're doing great and maybe some areas of improvement i have vicky's links in the description below of all of her social media handles and whatnot so if you dig her stuff go ahead and give her a follow and um, if you'd like to be part of a booth review visit my website at the link below and at the address listed and check out the page where I have booth reviews featured. There's just a couple of things on there. I want you to check out before you show off your entire booth to the world, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, give it a look. And if you're interested, go ahead and get a hold of me and I'd uh, love to take a look at your booth, but as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you liked this video, check out the playlist here for all the other booth reviews. Have a good one, everybody.